Hi friends, welcome to Airdrop Spot. So in this video, we are going to be interacting with Dope Testnet. Airdrop for participating in Dope Testnet is confirmed. So you guys want to make sure that you do not miss out on this. Uh, to get started, let's copy the testnet link. I'm going to leave it in the comment section of this video. And also, if you would prefer to, you know, go through the written version, I also dropped the link to my Medium article in the comment section. So you can either watch it in form of video or you read the Medium article. Since two weeks ago, I have been trying to attempt this testnet and it wasn't going through. So I already created my dope wallet. So I won't be doing that in this video. If it were you, when you click on the link, you first have to create your dope wallet and then connect with MetaMask. So I just unlocked my wallet because I already created the dope wallet. And now I'm going to tap on connect wallet. I'll choose MetaMask and then connect my MetaMask wallet as well. So you want to make sure that when you want to connect wallet, switch your browser to desktop mode so that it can connect with the uh, wallet extension and that is what i just did now so after switching to desktop mode tap on metamask again and then it is going to give you the prompt to unlock your wallet and then connect with it and then you are going to switch your metamask to sepulia network now you can switch your wallet to back to mobile mode you can see that my metamask is now connected so i'm going to switch back to mobile mode for ease of use so the first thing you have to do is you have to link your twitter to dope testnet and to do that let's get started with task one follow us on twitter so first of all authenticate your twitter by tapping on sign in with twitter sign in with x rather then tap on authorize app now your twitter has been authorized then you are going to follow dope on twitter so tap on follow dope on x i'll tap on the follow button and then i'll go back to the testnet website now you have followed them now you are going to check that checkbox and then you are going to tap on done to confirm that you have followed them on twitter the next step is to claim some sepolia eth to your metamask wallet so tap on claim After claiming your Sepolia ETH, you also want to claim some testnet dope tokens. So tap on claim and for this one you are going to confirm it in your wallet. So tap on claim. I am using Kiwi browser so every time I want to confirm something I have to go back to my sidebar menu to confirm it from there. So tap on confirm. Now, after claiming uh, testnet dope tokens, you also need to claim other testnet assets like USDC and others. So tap on claim. If you don't want to use USDT, you can also tap on the drop down and then choose from the list of tokens that are available. Then tap on confirm. Now you have claimed other testnet assets and then the first thing you are going to do now is you are going to encrypt the assets that you just claimed. So let's tap on get started. Now you are going to tap on select token and then you are going to choose. I am going to be interacting with USDT so I'll choose USDT and then I'll enter the amount. You There is 10,000 USDT in my account so I'm going to enter the entire 10,000. And then I'm going to tap on confirm. And then I'll confirm that in my wallet. Tap on max. And then tap on next. Then tap on approve. So for encryption and decryption, there are two confirmations that you need, approval and also confirmation. So after approving that I just did now, then I will also see the confirmation prompts and then I have to confirm as well. So 10,000 USDC has been successfully encrypted. You are done with that step. Now the next step is to send our encrypted asset into another wallet. We are sending it from dope uh, wallet into another wallet. So to do that, tap on get started. 
and then when you have the drop down dope account you are going to tap on that drop down and then paste your wallet address and then on that select token you are going to choose usdt because i encrypted my usdt and then you are going to enter amount you want to make sure that you are not sending all of the usdt that you have i'll be sending just five thousand out of the ten thousand then tap on send and then tap on confirm and then you are going to confirm that in your wallet tap on max then tap on confirm So I have just successfully sent 5000 USDT from my dope wallet into my MetaMask wallet. Then tap on OK. Now the next step is to decrypt your asset. The uh, USDT that we encrypted earlier, we are going to decrypt it back. And remember that I just sent 5000 out of the 10,000 that I encrypted. So I will be decrypting the remaining 5000. So choose USDT now and then choose amount so i'll be decrypting the entire 5000 that i have and then you are going to enter your dope wallet password remember when you newly started this testnet you have to import an account, a dope account or create a new account and then you have to create your password then which i couldn't feature in this video so tap on decrypt and then tap on confirm and then you are going to confirm that in your wallet So you have just uh, successfully decrypted your assets. That you are almost done. Now you are going to copy your referral link and then you are going to share it with people in your circle. You have to refer at least three people. It is not compulsory the way I see it, but then if you can, make sure that you refer people because when you refer people, then you are going to receive a notification that you have completed your testnet interaction. So you have to refer at least three people. And then if you encounter any bug when you do this testnet interaction, you have to send them a mail at support DAO, sorry, at support at dope.org. I will circle the email address now. So you can send them a mail if you encounter any bug and you want to report it. So that's basically all you need to complete your dope testnet however like i said at the beginning of this video i have been battling with this testnet for about two weeks it wasn't going through whether i used pc or i used any browser on mobile so what helped me today is that i used vpn so you want to make sure that you also use vpn if you have any issues doing the testnet use vpn so that you can be able to access all of the features of the website so once you have referred three people you are going to receive a congratulatory email uh, you know assuring you that you have completed the testnet and then you how you are eligible to claim rewards when they start distributing rewards so if you have any questions drop me a comment under the comment section of this video and if you have found value in any of my content before make sure that you give me a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on future updates thanks for watching and i'll see you in another tutorial